Israel. So the question is, uh, why did this group purposefully provoke this when they were told that they could supply humanitarian needs to people if only they would allow inspections? Why did they do it? Well, I think the answer is obvious, and that is they wanted to provoke an international crisis such as they are provoking, and that this would increase support for the pro-Palestinian cause, although, as you know, uh, the, uh, the, the, the organization in charge in the West Bank has a very different attitude towards Israel than Hamas does, which is committed right, to its extinction. So uh, what I think is they wanted to provoke an international incident well, they and did. possibly a crisis to bring more pressure to bear against Israel. But uh, this is a, a, another step in a chain of unfortunate events beginning with uh, President Obama's insistence that there be a freeze as a precondition for peace talks, a freeze well, on settlements it, in it, Jerusalem. It, Jerusalem is the capital of Israel, Senator, not a settlement. More importantly, I'm, I'm concerned about the world's reaction. I'm concerned about the lack of support from the United States of America. There seems, you know, here we have 200 countries condemning Israel, but yet the, the United Nations still has failed to condemn North Korea for sinking a South Korean ship. So I'm, I'm trying to understand where is this administration, this president said during the campaign, I'm going to roll this tape, the following about his support for Israel. Our alliance is based on shared interests and shared values. Those who threaten Israel threaten us. Israel has always faced these threats on the front lines. And I will bring to the White House an unshakable commitment to Israel's security. Now, let me be clear. Israel's security is sacrosanct. It is non-negotiable. A few seconds. Is he living up to that campaign promise, Senator? No, of course not. The, uh, the mistaken belief that pressuring Israel on a settlement freeze would somehow move uh, them closer and show the uh, Arab world that they were putting pressure on Israel has backfired. Keeping uh, the Prime Minister of Israel waiting in the White House while he went up to have dinner with his family and then come back down is, well, you can apply your own description to it. And the fact is that this nation has stood by Israel and now people around the world, include, including Israel's enemies, are not so sure. All right, Senator, thanks for being with us. We appreciate it. We'll continue to follow the story. Let not your heart be troubled. When we come back, the great, 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 great American panel.